In this example today, you can use one of two waveforms, the symmetrical biphasic or the NMS waveform, which stands for neuromuscular stimulation. The treatment approach in this case is using NMES to the weak inhibited dorsiflexors of the ankle. The mechanism of action is to activate the weak inhibited anterior tibialis muscle to restore active dorsiflexion. The clinical example in this case is to facilitate the ankle dorsiflexors during strengthening exercises. We're going to show you just a couple of approaches you can use. When we're looking at dosing the intensity, you want to make sure you're increasing the intensity to a strong submaximal contraction to facilitate ankle dorsiflexion with the stimulation. Some clinical comments to consider is that when you're placing the electrodes on the muscle belly of the anterior tibialis, you may find yourself having to pause the unit maybe once or twice to make sure that you do get proper placement of the electrode in order to get proper dorsiflexion. Okay, right now we have them placed on the perineal nerve and then just a little bit further down from there. This is how we found to get the best dorsiflexion with our patient. How to set up this protocol for this treatment approach. You're gonna select electrotherapy, manual operation, NMS, and then you'll select the appropriate channel that you're using, in this case, channel one. And we'll wanna make sure that we have a frequency of 35 pulses per second and a phase duration of 200 microseconds that we have as a default and an on-off time set for continuous. Okay, now what I'm gonna do now, I've got the NMS protocol already pulled up on the device. I'm simply going to select the amplitude button on the screen. I'm gonna increase the intensity and what we're looking for now is a strong submaximal contraction to help facilitate ankle dorsiflexion. I'm gonna ask the patient to let me know when he feels a tingling sensation, and then we'll just continue till we actually see some motor activity and a contraction and dorsiflexion of the ankle. Like now we're getting a really good contraction. We've got a cycle time of continuous, so now is that tolerable? I'm gonna back it down just a hair. Okay, and then we're gonna Go ahead and start. Since it's on a continuous the on time, we're gonna, it, this, the timer has already begun. We don't have a cycle time. And we can do one, one of two things. One is we're gonna go ahead and do dorsiflexion while it's on. Um, and the next progression from there is to incorporate more of a functional activity. So we can pull the walker over, have the patient slide down, and then do some step forward and step back to help facilitate proper uh, ambulation and, and gait. So I'm gonna pause the treatment. That'll shut down the current flow. I'm gonna pull the walker over in front. I'm gonna go ahead and have him slide down, hold on to the gait belt. And now at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the unit back on it'll cycle back up to he gets a strong dorsiflexion and now at this point we're going to have you take a step forward and then a step back and you can go ahead and shift your weight to your right side as you step forward shift your weight back to your left so you can step back and just follow that same pattern several times and that's how you can progress from seated to a standing position more functional movement